Massachusetts is taking another step forward in its reopening today. More businesses are getting the green light to open, while others are now able to expand their capacity ahead of what they're hoping will be a very busy summer season. One of the most noticeable changes will be the size of crowds inside Fenway Park and TD Garden. And as WBZ's Nick Giovanni reports, that starts tonight as the Bruins begin their final push before the playoffs. With Massachusetts moving on to the next step in the reopening plan, that means doors are opening to twice as many fans at venues like the Garden. I love it, actually. Um, it's really exciting, especially with um, me being from the area. It's like, it's going to be beautiful, you know? I'm ready for things to get back, and um, just excited. Capacity limits inside stadiums, ballparks, and arenas like the Garden more than doubling, effective today, from 12% to 25%. So for the garden, that means closer to 4,900 people are going to be allowed in, up from 2,300, starting tonight when the Bruins host the Islanders. I'm not doing anything indoors at the moment, but I mean, as long as they can keep everyone apart and they're wearing their mask, I think it should be fine. I think a difference for the, for the crowd, for the fans, and I think it's going to be a difference for the team, too, to play a little better. Amusement parks, theme parks, and outdoor water parks also getting the green light to operate at 50% capacity after submitting safety plans to the Department of Public Health. This is a moment Water Wiz and Wareham has spent weeks preparing for, even though they don't plan to open until mid-June. A road races and other large outdoor organized group athletic events can be held with staggered starts. Amateur sports tournaments can now take place for moderate and high-risk sports. Also today, singing will now be allowed indoors with strict distancing requirements at performance venues, restaurants, and events. Reporting outside the garden, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News. Nick